it would just look at me like, what is she saying? But in my head, I'm thinking, what are you guys saying? Hey guys, welcome back. Today, I'm going to be doing something very different. I'm going to be doing a day in the life video, but it's not your average day in the life. I'm going to be telling you guys something very interesting about me. And that is, um, you know, it has to do with the way I talk. So if you haven't yet noticed, I have a different accent. And I use the word different because everybody has an accent. You have an accent. I have an accent. Mine is just different from yours. So um, I've just decided to talk a little bit more about me and the way I speak and how different I am from most Americans. It's going to be a day in my life and I'm just going to throw in those words here and there until the end of this video. So you should stick around to the end so that you get to know the things I say differently from um, most Americans. Now, um, I am Nigerian, right? And sometimes some people say to me, oh, you don't sound Nigerian. Well, yeah, because I do sound Nigerian, actually. The thing is, if just like any other country, different parts of the country from, you know, if you're from a different part of the country, you will sound different from someone else. Similarly, where you're educated also matters. So where you go to school, you know, different things can influence your accent. So yes, I have a Nigerian accent with a mix of other things. I mean, there are certain things that I know I now say like Americans, yes, but there are certain things that I just can't, like I'm just not used to it. Nigeria was once colonized by the British and so our English is predominantly British English. Uh, and then besides that, I also went to school in England. So my English is pretty English. <laughs> now American English, and you know, it's funny because Americans don't really like to accept other people's English. I feel that way. Like I, I sense it. Like they're always like, I'm sorry, I can't hear you. Like, you know, whoa, gosh, one of the things that I hated so much was when I was working, there was this one girl and she was my boss actually. And I'd be talking to her and she would just go, I don't understand what you're saying and just walk off. I found that so rude and so annoying. I, I never complained, but it really did hurt me. I didn't like it because I feel like if you have an accent to me just the same way I have an accent to you and if I can understand you, then you should be able to at least try to understand me as well. There's no special gene in anyone that helps them understand other accents better than other people. It just takes effort and willingness. And yeah, so anyways, enough about the accent. So I'm just gonna say a few things that I say differently from you guys. So stay tuned and just get through my day in my life with me. So Denver is off. So what I'm going to do, I brushed his teeth, so I'm going to move on and change his uh, diapers, as Americans call it. But ideally, I would have called it nappies, nappies. Because you see, once upon a time, <laughs> let me just take you guys with me. Once upon a time, we had something called napkins before diapers were ever invented. Napkins, nappies you know nappies so i'm going to change his diapers anyway i think i'm used to calling it diapers now because i had my baby in america my motherhood experience has been in america and so i call it diapers but before when i was back in nigeria i used to call it nappies so i've just changed denver's diapers and i'm taking the time to appreciate god's goodness ah, ah, just look at this hot stuff hey shaggy hey 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 ooh, ooh. come on girl yeah work it work it work it <laughs> i'm retarded <laughs> so one of the hardest things for me what's wrong with this is deciding what to cook honestly i don't know about you guys eh, but it is such a chore for me like i hate it like thinking about what to cook especially since denver is a picky eater 
and you know i always have to make meals that he can also eat i'm const i i need a meal plan i think i need a meal plan right yeah if anybody knows of any good meal plans or whatever but like yeah you can just leave a comment for me so i think i'm gonna make something that he always loves to eat and it's these eggs that i fry in the nigerian way with like tomatoes catch that tomatoes yeah so it, it has tomatoes and um onions pepper with like well no no pepper because he's eaten so garlic and um eggs and then i'll just fry some potatoes i have them out there already i'm gonna fry potatoes so do what do you guys call them this is another one actually this one wasn't supposed to be part of it but yeah um potato chips yeah that's what we call them right potato chips or fries well you guys call them fries so now i call them fries but for me it's just chips yeah i've added this one so yeah i'm gonna be doing that this morning and then that's what we're gonna eat i'm not gonna show you guys the cooking process because <gasps> filming cooking is a chore you guys so you see this here what's it called i call it a tap I'm advertising dawn i shouldn't be advertising those people anyways for me it's called a tap tap but apparently you guys call it faucet a faucet a faucet it's a tap you call it tap water but you don't call it a tap interesting see how my hair is sticking out like horns anyways tap yeah so i'll be adding more later bye so denver was starting to feel left out and he's just come to hang with me in the kitchen anyways i need to do his water catch that one water so i need to like put water in a bottle for him to drink you guys call it water water i can never roll my teas like uh -uh. it's tea now tea i can't roll it it's water <laughs> it's not it's not water it's water anyways let's do his water so while i'm cooking let me just chat with you guys for a bit so i i'm thinking about going to the grocery store today because i need a spray can for my hair because i had a spray can for my hair and then i used it to make a cleaning solution because we all know that somebody likes cleaning <laughs> hey, hey, hey. denver has started denver has started he has started you would not allow me to do anything anything uh -uh. are you the only baby they gave birth to daddy what is it anyway as I was saying, guys, so I'm going to go out to later today to buy me a spray can. I just don't know because sometimes it's hard to find time to do anything. So I just really need to find a way to squeeze it into my schedule. My schedule. Schedule. <laughs> Not schedule, guys. I can never pronounce schedule. I mean, I say schedules now. I mean, do I? I don't actually. I still say schedule. And I would say schedule and they would just look at me like, what is she saying? But in my head, I'm thinking, what are you guys saying? How can you say schedule? It just sounds so strange. S-C-H. <laughs> schedule. You know? American English. It just sounds like... English born off of a, an unrepentant pretty girl son. <laughs> Sorry guys, you guys are going to like kill me for this. I actually know. But honestly, you guys are just like American English is just stubborn English. Like it's English. It's it's English. It's not Americanish. It's English. You speak English now. Which one are you speaking your own? Anyways, you guys don't kill me because I know that a lot of people are gonna come for me with this one that I'm doing. <laughs> ah anyway, so yeah, I'm gonna go out later. Hopefully, you know, add it to my schedule. 
oh yeah and then i'll talk to you i think i'll just go off now and then after breakfast when we are about to head out i will watch out with you guys again unless you like seeing my face as much as i like seeing my face because i like seeing my face you like watching me anywho bye You guys are going to laugh at this one so whenever i eat and i'm really full i literally can't zip up my trousers like i'm sure i'm not the only one so please somebody should just make me feel like i'm not alone just look at this can you see don't want you to see my pants yes my pants in there <laughs> but i literally can't zip it up i am so full but yeah we've just had breakfast and i want to really utilize my day properly so i'm gonna go off to the grocery store like asap <laughs> and then um from there we'll probably go to the park for a stroll before we come back home so now we're about to move and um i'm just wondering which route to take because uh there's two routes there's one where i get to see lots of nice houses on the road and then there's another one where i just go on the highway and get to where i'm going i think i'm gonna go with seeing lots of nice houses on the road because i just really enjoy having things to look at while i drive so yeah did you guys catch that route not route routine not routine route Bye. <laughs> so we are at the park and here are the rules. I'll tell you what I'm showing you guys. So no bicycles, no skateboards, roller bl blades, scooters, wagons, etc. in park. I think the reason is because there's a pond. Obviously because of the pond, they don't want you rolling into the pond, right? So I have a wagon, some of you already know, and I've been, I've been bringing it to the park like every day, <laughs> not knowing that there was a rule against it. Nobody caught me or nothing, but I just said to myself, I don't want the one day that I'll now bring my wagon, the one yeah yeah policeman will now come and start telling me stories or somebody will come and, I mean you know how it is now, every day for the thief, one day for the owner. So I just decided to respect my old age and bring his um, pram, aka stroller. Yeah, his pram. <laughs> That's another one with me. So yeah, we're taking a walk. It's really nice here because you get to go around this uh, trail and like you go around, 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 around. I think it's about, it definitely looks like two miles to me, but I think it's one mile. Um, let me show you guys so yeah you go around and around and around and around and around and it just keeps going and going and going and going and going until you get to the end so that's what we're gonna do now before we head to the grocery store I decided to do this first just to get it out of the way you know why because I want to buy ice cream I don't want my ice cream to melt if I get home and so we're taking our walk and doing our recreation first before we go get ice cream and of course my spray can. Toodles! Mwah. Guys, there's this swing that I like to sit on and I was thinking of going there. Oh, look at this cute chapel behind me. Can you guys see it? It's one of the things I really love and I find very intriguing about this. Park. This very little tiny chapel, like what's it? <laughs> Do people ever go in there to pray or something? Anyways, yeah, so there's this really nice swing chair that I like to go and sit on. It's just really nice by the pond. You can just sit and chill. But there's one man just lying down there, like it's his father's house. Ha -ha. Like really. So now I can't sit down there. Let me show you guys. Can you see it? 
I don't want it to be obvious that I'm filming him. But can you see it? It's like there. He's just he's just lying down like it's his father's house. Eh? Can you imagine? My swing. <laughs> Looks like we're halfway through. <gasps> so since Monsieur took my spot, I've just decided to sit down somewhere else. As we can already see, my little baby here is asleep. And so I'm just chilling here, looking directly at the fountain. And literally just relaxing because problem not they finish for this life so if you don't take your time to relax you know so I'm just taking my time to relax I think I'm gonna do another one mile because I'm almost done with this lap but I'll do another one mile simply because Denver is asleep I don't want to wake him up when we sitting in the car and then have to wake him up again again when we get to the groceries so I'm just going to take him on another lap so he can sleep and obviously that is more exercise for me and then um, from there we'll go to the store yeah so literally this is his nap right now and I kind of like it it's very relaxing for him you know because the weather is not too bad it's not as hot as it usually is as usual I'm paranoid about insects so right now I feel like there's something biting me on my foot it. yeah anyways guys um, I'll do another lap before I go but I'll let you guys know how it goes before I go so guys you know I wasn't wrong there are ants here can you see them I don't know if you guys can see the ants see I'm not paranoid I'm not pa these insects like to haunt me literally I cannot stay here for a minute longer i'm off guys I'm going to do my second lap <laughs> i believe this is our completion plaque here on the floor well we've completed one mile we're starting again off we go It's getting better now, but it was like so red. Bobo, what's wrong? Okay, we're off now. We're off now. I promise we're off. But yeah, it, it's like so red. So I feel like I'm definitely allergic to something here. It's probably the trees because there's so many trees. I don't know what it is, but I'm. I remember. Bobo, give me one second, please. The last time I came to the park and I did a vlog, I know I looked literally. I looked dead. And it was just because I was feeling so awful and I didn't understand why. I think I'm allergic to something. I love this park and I'll still come back here, but I'm definitely allergic to something. Okay, we're off. So this is the final part of the vlog. I, um, well, you can, I've got my little one here. And I didn't carry a trolley. Did you hear that? A trolley. You guys call it a cart, I think. But yeah, I call it a trolley. And every time I say trolley, some people really do get confused. But anyways, I can't seem to find what I'm here for. So I'll just keep looking and I'll talk to you guys when I get home to wrap this up. So yes, we're back guys. Um, you see this thing called makeup? 
I think I really need to give up and just know that I have grown past makeup phase in life because man I don't even know how to do makeup anymore like the heat everything guys look at this especially in corona times where is it look at this I need to show you guys what look at this like how do, how does anybody deal with this it's so irritating to even look at like when i take it off anyways that's me lamenting the day went well i did everything i wanted to do i got some exercise in my eyes are now looking a little white again they were really looking red when i left the park i really don't know what happened i got me the spray bottles i got uh some juice for Denver. I like to give him juice every other day. He literally doesn't drink any other thing besides water. And he doesn't even like any drinks. I kind of like that he doesn't because this thing just stopped recording. Anyways, I think he's a lot like me. Like he doesn't drink anything besides water. He doesn't like anything besides water. But sometimes he takes juice, but not every time. He doesn't like it every time. Um, yeah, so yeah, it was a good day. I bought my ice cream as well. So yeah, everything went well. Anyways, I hope you guys learned a thing or two about me and the way I pronounce my words and the fact that, you know, I'm quite different. Yeah, if you enjoyed this, give it a thumbs up and subscribe. See you guys in my next video. Bye.